Hi friends, quick update on the Wilson Home Phonograph. I posted some pictures of uh, this has a mock-up a few weeks ago. Since then, it's gone from mock-up to prototype to uh, this is now the production version. This is the first of the production versions, and uh, I'd like to show off some of uh, the innovations in it. Uh, this machine is the first one that I completely rendered in CAD, uh, having now spent a lot of time using Fusion 360 uh, I've now become proficient with it, and from start to finish, everything about this machine uh, was uh, started digitally, um, in <laughs> including the software, uh, no pun intended. And uh, this is the result. Uh, it's a much more streamlined machine, uh, much more modern looking. I was trying to go for a look that's kind of uh, futuristic. Uh, also, there were some cost savings in going this route. Since the machine is physically smaller, uh, no longer requiring the, the wooden plinth, uh, although the studio version still has uh, the plinth and the motor housing on the side. Um, that's in part to also incorporate the, uh, the large flywheel that the studio version has. Uh, this version no longer has the flywheel, uh, but there is software uh, incorporated to uh, try to compensate for that. Wow and flutter, uh, still incredibly low. Uh, direct drive motors for both the feed screw and mandrel uh, still rubber mounted using the same technologies as before. Miniaturized electronics now fit in the small case in the front, which does have vent holes, uh, but just the same, uh, never uh, gets warm. And uh, despite the motors being uh, physically exposed, uh, you don't see any wiring because uh, I paid great attention to uh, wire management, which you can see the audio cables here and the ground strap, but uh, all of the motor wires are uh, inside of these nice little bits of wire management that I incorporated. It's still a 160 RPM machine. Uh, there's a 10% pitch control that I incorporated on this. The studio version still has a 50% pitch control to go down all the way to 80, uh, 280 RPMs. Uh, this version uh, is 160 plus or minus 10% and uh, will uh, accommodate only the standard size cylinders uh, as well as Busy B and ones that are roughly the same size. Uh, but that's enough of me talking. I'm going to now turn on the machine. And uh, uh, here I have a uh, molded Columbia brown wax cylinder from 1899. And I'll play the first minute or so. I'm going to live on the farm. I love one of them in the first green fields. I'm going to live on the farm. I love one of them in the first green fields. 